The first number one song of the 1950s was released in 1949. And it has the distinction of being the only number one song to ever reach number one and then completely disappear from the chart the following week. Hmm. The story of the song goes back farther than 1949. It actually goes back 10 years prior in 1939 when Robert May created an advertising campaign for the Montgomery Ward store. He created this character and his brother-in-law, Johnny Marks, 10 years later, decided he was going to take this character and create a song around the character. Who was the character? Well, you might know him. We'll start with the beginning line of the song, which is taken from the poem, "'Twas the Night Before Christmas." You know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen, but do you recall the most famous reindeer of all? Yes, it's Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer. And the story was written by May, but the song was created by Johnny Marks, his brother-in-law. And the song then became a hit with Gene Autry, the first number one song of the decade of the 1950s. And then, of course, in the 60s, we get the great stop-motion animation classic, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, featuring more amazing music and more amazing characters. I mean, come on, give me the Bumble all day long, because Bumble's back. Isn't it crazy how just that one thing, that one story, that one comic book that was an advertisement for a store led to this song, which led to the first number one song in the 1950s, which then led to this beloved classic children's special that shows every Christmas, which then led to even more songs. It's amazing how that works. All because of Rudolph 